Rescue. Today we're doing the giant YouTube pork chop collaboration video. Uh, all we're doing for this is we're doing our best version of pork chops. Okay, so I got these two pork loin chops here. Just gonna season them up with a little bit of salt. And I promise it's not really taking as long to get that salt out as, as or putting as much salt down as it looks like. I, had a little bit of trouble getting it to pour at first because the container was kind of empty. So uh, it, it's not really getting that much salt. You probably want about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half per chop. Okay. Then we're going to take some cracked black pepper and just crack it on there, put it on fairly liberally. And then we're going to flip it and do the other side the exact same way. Alright, now that we got these seasoned up, we're going to go ahead and put them in our pan and we're going to pan sear them for three minutes on each side. And then we're going to flip them and do them again for another three minutes and we're going to hit all sides of these. And what we're going to do is we've already got this pan hot and we're going to go ahead and take some extra virgin olive oil, about a teaspoon's worth, and we're going to put it in this pan that's already hot and uh, get it swirled around, get that oil hot, and then we're gonna go ahead and put our pork chops right on in there. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here all right, we got that oil swirled around. Man, listen to this sizzle when we put these pork chops in here. It's absolutely amazing. Listen. Our pork chops. Again, we're going to do that for three, three minutes. All right, yeah, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and take these four chops and we're gonna sear each side of them, both chops. Uh, we, we sear one side for three minutes and we flipped them over, seared that side for three minutes and seared it again. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and put another teaspoon of that extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna go ahead and put it in that pan and get it hot. And uh, I've already chopped up some uh, onions just, just slice some onions and some uh, mushrooms and we're just going to go ahead and put those right on in that pan and saute, the, saute those down and uh, get them just a little bit brown. We're not wanting to cook them completely just yet, we're just trying to get them a little bit brown.
All right, we've got these nice and browned up. Uh, the, the mushrooms have started to get a little soft. The onions are just a little bit caramelized, but not quite. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and just sprinkle some flour in and stir it in fairly quickly after we sprinkle it in so that it doesn't burn. Uh, I didn't measure it out, but it ends up being about a quarter of a cup total. You might have to repeat this process a couple times to get the desired amount of thickness that you want in your, uh, you know, basically it's a roux that you're making. And you're gonna stir it around until the, oil, uh, until the flour is mixed into the oil and cooked so you don't get that raw flour taste. All right, now we're gonna add three quarters cup of beef stock and three quarter cup of chicken stock, which I didn't have any chicken stock, so I just used some chicken bouillon and mix it with some warm water. And uh, we're gonna add that all together into this uh, gravy mixture that we had. We're gonna stir that around and get that chicken bouillon completely mixed in and uh, integrated with the rest of the sauce. And we're gonna let this go ahead and come on up to a boil. And once it boils, we're gonna reduce the temperature and uh, leave it uncovered like that till it thickens up a little bit. Once it's thickened up just a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and take and add our pork chops in there. And at that point, we'll let the pork chops cook in that sauce for another 20 minutes. All right, these have been going for about 20 minutes now, so we're gonna go ahead and cover them. Just uh, let them cook a little bit longer and get just a little bit more tender. We're gonna go ahead and cover them for probably about another 10, 15 minutes. We'll come back with the finished product. All right, here's the finished product. This is my pork chops pan seared with a onion and mushroom gravy, all made from scratch, all made here at Roundhouse Ranch Barbecue. Uh, some of the other teams that we're doing this collaboration are Smoking Joe's Barbecue, Cooking with CJ, Josh and Bay, Bottle Cap Barbecue, The Road to Good Cooking, Tom Heinerman, Daddy Dutch Barbecue and Cooking, Smoking King Barbecue Tips, 1984 Barbecue, and cooking with James. And I also just learned that cooking with Corey is now in on this collaboration as well. All right, we'll see y'all next time, thank you.